So in California, like in a lot of places, I think, as we're teaching students to uh, do multiplication problems, often we start them with the area model of multiplication. So we take a problem like this, 54 times 26. We use a distributive property to break it up. So we take the 54 and put it up here. And we do the same thing with the 26. We make it 20 plus 6. And this is so we can teach students how the multiplication process works. So we teach it instead of teaching the shortcut standard algorithm that a lot of us learned. What we do is we break this up so we can teach the kids that when we when you take 6 times 4 and 6 times 5, we're actually multiplying it by 5 tens, which is 50. So we break it up over here and say, okay, 20 times 50 is 1,000. 20 times 4 is 80. 6 times 50 is 300, and this assumes students know their math facts, of course. 6 times 4 is 24. And we can add up all of those numbers. We add up this, we get 1,080 over here. And adding up 324, we get 324. Adding both of those together. Our answer is going to be here 1404 if you use standard algorithm you're doing the same thing as area model except that you're doing it in a shortcut form and the, the reason that it's important to learn the standard algorithm and that is the fifth grade standard in California is the standard algorithm multiplication when when you're starting out and you're doing small multiplication problems it's not a big deal but when you start to get into the bigger problems uh, doing area models, doing arrays is very difficult. Doing area models, rather, is very difficult. So it just takes up a lot of room. It makes a lot of uh, opportunities for mistakes. So this is a fantastic way to understand how multiplication works. This is the way that we shortcut it down now to make it quicker and more efficient. And it really works the same way. Down here we have 6 times 4 and we get 24. Right here we're going to say 6 times 4. We're going to write the 4 down in the 1's place and we're going to regroup that too, just like as if we were adding it. And then we're going to take the 6 and we're going to multiply it by this 50. But since we're going to start writing the number already in the 10's place, we don't have to add a 0. We can just say 6 times 5 and shortcut it because it's already being written in the 10's place. So 6 times 5 is 30 plus the 2 that we regrouped. 324. Now if you look over here, it's the same as these two numbers. That's this 6 times 54. Now I'm going to move over and I'm going to start multiplying in the tens column. So I'm just going to add that 0 ahead of time. When you, when you add a 0 to a number, if you have um, 10 times 5, you always add a 0 to the 5. 10 times 25, you add a 0 to the 25 because what you're really doing is moving those numbers over one place. You're moving the two. If you say 25 times 10 and you add that 0, you move the 2 from the 10's place to the 100's and the 5 from the, the 1's place to the 10's, then add a 0 in the 1's place. So that's actually what you're doing, but we shortcut it by just saying add a 0 when you multiply by 10. So we're adding the 0 here. Now I can multiply 2 times 4, which is 8, and 2 times 5, which is 10. And that 1080 is the same as this up here. When I add them together, I'm going to get exactly the same number that I got on the other side. So my two numbers, my two are exactly the same. So going from area model to standard algorithm is just a different way and a different method. We're, we're squishing this together. We're squishing this together just to make it faster and more efficient. We're still doing the six times the four. We're still doing the 6 times 50, but since we already have it, we're writing it in the tens place, we're moving, we've are moving. we moved it over already when we don't have to think of it, in this case, as 6 times 50. We can just think of it as 6 times 5, 6 times 5 tens in this case. So we do 6 times 5 and add the 2 that we regrouped. It comes up to the same number. So don't let it freak you out when you go to move from 
standard algorithm or from area model to standard algorithm it's just the same it's the same process it just looks a little bit different but you use the same steps 